in this video we'll discuss the working of dual slope a to d converter this is a block diagram of dual slope a to d converter and it is called as an indirect a to d converter because we are not comparing two voltages using any comparator the way how we did it for previous a to d converters speed is low accuracy is quite high v reference is always opposite polarity with a vi in this we are taken a vi positive and v reference is a negative the switching what is shown is switched between vi and v reference which is controlled by the msb overflow msb of the counter overflow whenever overflow is there the switch will switch out to the v reference in this vi and v reference are converted into time pairs using a integrator and then measured by means of an counter integrator generates the ramp v reference what we choose is always a more than vi v reference we choose as that its equivalent digital should be more than the counter capacity try to understand the steps are very simple now consider the vi is given input capacitor the polarity is this side positive this side it will become negative and we can say vi is negative comparator output will become positive and clock will reach the counter counter starts counting when the counter starts counting another important to note in this is the slope changes the voltage across the capacitor will change for example if the vi is very high then v1 will become more i mean to say the voltage across the capacitor will become more hence the slope will change now after two raised to n clock pulses counter will overflow and whenever the counter overflow just now we told in the previous slide because of msb overflow now the switch is connected to the v reference now the counter starts counting from zero again because just now it has overflowed again it will start from the zero now important question which comes to the mind is is t1 constant for any input voltage pause for a minute think if a v1 is a 1 volt if a v1 vi is a 2 volt vi is a 1.5 volt whether t1 will remain same or t1 will change based on the vi think think whatever may be the vi integrator output will be positive and no doubt comparator voltage output will be positive and hence clock will reach the counter and counter will overflow irrespective of whatever may be the vi this point is very important irrespective of vi the counter will overflow and the time taken to overflow will remain same hence t1 is always same because of overflow switch is connected to the v reference now c starts charging towards the opposite direction when it reaches zero a little bit uh, towards a positive maybe nano or something like that voi becomes a positive and which will disable the and gate clocks will not reach the counter counter stops counting hence i can say the t1 
t2 directly proportional to the vi and i can say the count is directly depends on the vi hence i can say whatever the binary counter output is there it is depends on input what i have given vi if you want you can revise now this is a charge equal to discharge and using that a digital output equation is given just you can glance once and advantages are low cost and is not affected by temperature disadvantage is a low speed compared to other adcs its speed is very low or you can say a slowest adc is a dual slope a to d converter thank you thank you